take a moment to read the question. So we have been given a definite integral and we have to evaluate it. The options are shown over here. How do we do this question? Well, first of all, let us write down the given integral and the first step would be to split this into two parts like this. Now over here, we observe the second integral and we find that the function we have to integrate is tan x divided by 1 plus x squared, which is an odd function. Now recall that an odd function is defined as a function which satisfies this property f of minus x is equal to minus of f of x. Now, we can also verify this by replacing x with minus x. So, the expression we get is the negative of tan x divided by 1 plus x squared. So, this confirms that this function is an odd function. And therefore, this integral would become 0. The other function, which is x squared divided by 1 plus x squared, can be verified to be an even function. And here is the definition for an even function. It satisfies the condition that f of minus x is equal to f of x. Therefore, the overall integral can now be written as twice the first integral. And here we have used the property that when we integrate f of x from minus a to plus a, it becomes twice of the integral of f of x from 0 to a. This is true whenever the function f of x is even. Now we can divide the numerator by the denominator and write down the integral in this form. So each part here is easy to integrate. The integral of 1 is just x and the integral of 1 divided by 1 plus x squared is tan inverse of x. So we put that over here and we can now simply evaluate it. So we can put the upper limit and we get this expression. At the lower limit which is 0, x minus tan inverse of x becomes 0. So this is all we get. And further, tan inverse of 1 by root 3 is equal to pi by 6. So we get this expression, so the correct answer is option A.